There it goes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today we're taking a look at the JBL GO 3. Let's check it out. So the JBL GO 3 comes in this little clear plastic case. Very familiar orange branding right here. And really nothing else to talk about on the box. So let's take it out. All right, so here it is out of the box, the JBL GO 3, and I got the blue color. I also ordered the red color, but I don't have that yet because JBL hasn't shipped it because they're a little backed up. I'm guessing these are selling pretty well being so close to the holidays. And what else comes in this box? We have a USB type C charging cable. And then right here we have the usual owner's manual and warranty information. All right, I'm gonna give you guys another nice close up of the brand new JBL GO 3. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the specs. All right, so the JBL GO 3 comes in multiple colors. We have the blue one that I have here. There's a light blue, there's a gray, there's a red that I still don't have. And then there's a black. And then it looks like they have multiple color combinations that you can get as well. The output power is 4.2 watt RMS and has a frequency response of 110 hertz to 20 kilohertz. We have a built-in 2.775 watt hour lithium ion polymer battery. And we get up to five hours of playtime on a two and a half hour charge. We have the latest technology with Bluetooth 5.1. And as you already know, it's charged via a USB type C cable. And we have an IP67 dust and waterproof rating. So the six means it's completely dust proof and the seven means you can submerge it underwater up to three feet for a half hour. All right, so the GO 3 is 3.4 inches by 2.7 inches by 1.6 inches. And they say it weighs 0.46 pounds on the website, so let's weigh it. All right, so let's plop this bad boy on my scale. Comes out to be 7.4 ounces and in grams, 210 grams. So as you guys can see, it basically still has that square shape, but it's not as boxy anymore. Now we have these nice rounded curves. So it's now wrapped in a nice fabric mesh. So it feels very sturdy, very durable, and can probably stand up to a drop or two. This thing feels pretty sturdy. Then we have very large JBL branding that dominates the front of this speaker. And it's in that same soft rubber material that we see all through the body here. On the bottom of the speaker, we have some nice soft rubber feet and putting it on the ground, Ah, it grips the table pretty nicely. And then on the back side, we have more of that soft rubber, but I'm gonna show you a little later on why you shouldn't put it on the table and listen to it like this. We have a nice integrated loop right here, which makes this little speaker ultra portable. And on that loop, we have more of that soft rubber that we see throughout this speaker. And right next to that integrated loop, we have our USB-C charging port. Super glad to see USB-C on this. And as we turn it around to the other side, we have our power button, our Bluetooth button, and some more or Go 3 branding. And then right there, we just have an LED status light. And then on the very top of the speaker, we have our plus minus buttons that act as volume up and volume down. And then right dead center, we have our play pause button, which also doubles as track forward. As far as I can see, there's no track back on this speaker. And that's about it. No frills, nothing fancy. What you see is what you get. All right, so now let's do a quick size comparison right here. You can see how big it is compared to the JBL Clip 3. And I turn it to the side, you can see the thickness differences between the Clip 3 and the Go 3. And then right here, one of my favorite micro Bluetooth speakers, the TriBit Stormbox Micro. And you can see the size differences there. Just a tad bit smaller than the Stormbox Micro. And there you can see the thickness of both. And my first impressions of this was just how nice and light this feels in the hand. In my opinion, the GO 3 just has a much better aesthetic than the previous GO 2. I just think it has a more modern and pleasing look to it. And I love the addition of this little integrated loop right here. So you can basically just hang this anywhere you want to that will fit this little integrated loop. All right, so next, let's get to the sound test. So obviously you're not gonna get the full effect through my camera and through your television. So it's just gonna be more of a sound example coming from the JBL GO 3. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it based on what I'm hearing. All right, so let's start this. So let's power on the speakers. Just a nice little short press. There we go. So I'm gonna put this about three feet from my camera so we can fully appreciate the lows here. And I'm gonna play the song that I always play for these 
sound test, and that's Buddha by Context. All right, so let's turn it up to, well, actually down to 50% volume, and let's run that. Go to 75. So let's pause that. Let's see if I can skip the track here. And I don't know what's next. Same song. All right, so I've had this speaker for a few days now, and I just want to say that I've listened to multiple types of music in multiple genres. And the first time I played music through the speaker, my first impression was just how much volume and how powerful this little speaker was. Now, let me start out at the sweet spot at 75% volume. And I say it's the sweet spot because it really is the sweet spot for most of these Bluetooth speakers. And the JBL GO 3 is no different. So right at 75%, it has a really nice full sounding bass, which you really wouldn't expect from a speaker this small. But at the same time, the mids and the highs were extremely clear, no matter what type of music I was listening to. But in my opinion, 75% rock music seemed to sound the best for some reason. Just the sound of the drums, very clean sounding guitar, very clear vocals, and even the cymbals came in very, very clear on the high end. And then let's talk about 100% volume. Generally at 100%, I usually expect a speaker this small to get a little jumbled, a little muddy sounding. Most of the time, the bass tries to overcome the mids and the highs. But not with this. Everything seemed to come together very nicely at 100%, which I was very, very surprised at, especially at 100% with this small, tiny little speaker here. And it has such a nice little rumble to it. This thing has some pretty nice, rich sounding bass. But what I like is the bass doesn't seem to drown out the highs and the mids at any given point, even at 100%. And that leads me to why you shouldn't play this with this flat rubber piece straight on your table. So I'll lay this right here, turn it up to 100%, and...
look at it go. I mean, it would just vibrate right off the table if I wasn't here, probably. It's making a full 360. On. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. It's enough of that. But if you stick it the way they intend it, no problems at all. Now that is super funny. But one other thing I wanted to mention, I put it back to 75% and I'll play it. But when I get to 100%, there's a strange little pause in the music for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why. And it's pretty annoying. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'll play it and then put it up to 100% and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, and then. That right there. So whatever reason, when you put it to 100%, it pauses the music, makes a strange little weird sound coming out of the speaker. They should get rid of that. That is super annoying. So let's do that again. Oh wow. See? Yeah, I dislike that a lot. It's a small little gripe and I know why they did it to make you aware that you hit 100%. But why stop the music and make this weird little sound? It's just not necessary. So previously, my favorite micro portable Bluetooth speaker was a JBL Clip 3, and that was until I heard the Tri-Bit Stormbox Micro. But the Stormbox Micro has to take a backseat to the new JBL Go 3. I absolutely love this little Go 3. I love the aesthetics. I love the little ultra portable body it comes in now. And the sound is crystal clear, even at 100%, and the bass doesn't seem to drown out anything else. So in my book, the JBL GO 3 is the new go-to when it comes to micro portable Bluetooth speakers. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the JBL GO 3? Now, I picked this up for about 40 bucks on the JBL website. If you guys wanna check it out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. And let me know in the comments below if you guys already picked one up or plan on picking one up. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!